and brought it in church. Oh, yeah. Where's Huey? Where's Brother Rick? Get those articles. I want to demonstrate bail profits. Mm -hmm. Bring them in here. I want us to see, and I want, that's one thing I love about television. I can demonstrate anything. Put all that stuff down and get it together and get some brothers to get them for you. Come on, let's move quick because I, I, I want to open the eyes of the people. Come on up here. Some of you brothers come up here. Some of you, I need some tall brothers. I want to show you what bell prophets are bowing to. How many we have there? Got two of them? All right, give me four brothers. Tall brothers. Come on up on the stage. Come on. One hold one side, one hold the other. My Lord. One hold one side, one hold the other. My Lord. <laughs> Lord. I want you to look at this. Look, look at that. Look at that. Turn around so the brothers can see them. My Lord, my Lord. All right, turn back around. I want the cameras to look at this. I wish I had a ruler. <laughs> Now, this is what Baal prophets, Bale's prophets have in this church. Yeah. You know, in Charleston, South Carolina, a racist murdered some black brothers and sisters. Only because they were black. They didn't attack them for their religion. And I hear the different media saying, that we need to talk about race. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you do need to talk. But why I don't hear nobody saying who should be talking? Right. If you really want to talk, get a bigot who believes in Bell Prophet. That's right. I want to say, well, what they got to do with it, Pastor Jennings? Satan have used symbolism. Right. Have used imagery and symbolism yeah. to trick the ignorant yeah. and to promote wickedness. Yeah. Now, when I preach against racism, some white brothers write me and said, "You know, you kind of sound. I kind of hear some racism in your voice. You know how? Now, listen. Don't don't try to flip the script." <laughs> When I preach against racism, you don't hear racism in my voice. You hear truth in my voice. That's right. Now, this have no place, no place. in God's house. Amen. This is not Jesus. That's right.
Racism is terrorism. Yeah. If you got me looking up to white people who think they are superior and look down at myself as a black man to teach me that I'm inferior, that is terrorism. Yeah. So what Satan, what Satan preachers done? They made it. See, it don't matter what color God is. Because we don't know. We don't know what color God is. And we don't care. But if I got a different agenda, and I see that you are religious, I got to manipulate religion to see what I can get out of you. So Satan messengers made Jesus white. Yeah. And some made them black. Yeah. Some made them yellow. Some made them brown. Yes. But the majority made them white. That's right. And what they did with the so-called white Jesus was use imagery. Yes. So people of color can look at the preacher. Yes. Can look at the image. Right. And notice that the preacher in the image resemble. Yes. That's it. And to make them believe that bowing to Jesus is bowing to the preacher. That's right. That's why you people still bow to the Pope. That's right. That's right. That's right. We bow to no man. Now, many of you have this. In your church, yeah. And in your house, yeah. Some of you go and kiss the picture, yeah. Some of you say that the eyes of statues and pictures cry blood, yes. Some of you are bowing, yeah, yeah. In the name of the Father, yeah. In the name of the Son, yeah. In the name of whose son is this? Who son is that? I mean, whose son is this son? That's right. This is Baal's son. This is the devil's son. This is the son of a liar. That's right. You would say, oh, he called Jesus a liar. That's not Jesus. Philadelphia. He 
Tino sign Timo bowing to. Oh, yes. Oh, no. If Pope was an apostle like Peter, Amen. Peter says, stand up. Amen. I'm a man like you. Stand up, man. Stand up. 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 The power of imagery. It brings something in a person's mind. So what have happened is this brand has made bigots in the past feel justified in slavery. That's right. And one of the methods used to take the fight out the slave is to hold this brand in front of them. That's right. And because the slave didn't know the scripture, the learned European misinterpret scripture and said, Obey your master. That's right, that's right. That's right. 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 That's right. Listen, viewers. This are symbols of terrorism. That's right. Now, I know many of you don't like it, and I don't care. Okay. Made in express image are symbols of terrorism. The scripture that the European used when Ham saw the nakedness of his father in the book says a servant of service you shall be. The European satanic liar said that scripture means that all people are color to serve white. Right. And said Jesus, now yeah. take this picture, yeah. meant it to be. Yeah. That's terrorism. Yeah. So what happened? Now, now let's understand the religion so-called of Christianity hmm. promotes this. Yeah. Did you hear it? Oh, yeah. I said, Christianity promote this. Yeah. Holiness destroys it. Destroys it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want any of my white brothers and white sisters writing me. Pastor Jennings, you, you, you sound like you hate white folk. No. I hate wickedness. Yeah. I don't care who. Listen, white supremacy is no better than black supremacy. I don't believe in no supreme race. I believe in only one supreme God. That's right. This, this will be just as evil if the paintings were black. Still, Jesse. So all of you churches, all of you, all of you, get me, get me, get me now. Take this and that. <laughs> See this here, this crucifix. This right here is a lie. That's a lie. You know why? He ain't on no cross. No cross. He died and rose. And ascended Ascended. above all heavens. He ain't on no cross. So whenever you got a crucifix in your house, round your neck, in your church, with the image on it, you have a lie. He is not on no cross. That's right. And then some of you said, this is God. Right. Liar. God is not a man. God is not a man. He should not. That's right. Need to see the son of man. That he should repent. Who told you that God God have hazel brown eyes? Hmm. 
I want to say to you that flock to Rome to look at some material bought out of a pawn shop. Amen. Called the Shrine of Corinth. Yeah. You've been bamboozled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, the people want to sign. Yeah. They want to believe something other than what's written. Yeah. Is not the word of God good enough for you? Yeah. You don't need relics, dead man hands, and pieces of somebody's robe. No. no. no, no. So all of you that are watching, and you that are here, if you got this in your home, and I know some of you do, when you go home, Take that phony off your wall. <laughs> this is a phony. I'm trying to get it, you know. I have a having problem placing my fingers. <laughs> now I know some of you are right men say, Father Jennings, you make a mockery. You're right. right. Give me the book of Kings. That's right. Elijah mocked them. That's right. And Elijah said unto them. Follow me, follow me in your Bible. Let's get right to the point. First Kings chapter 18 and at verse 26. And they took the book which was given them and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. And right. From morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. Then what? And it came to pass that Elijah mocked them. All right. Elijah was my brother. Yeah. We got the same spirit. That's right. And the same father. That's right. And I got to do like my brother does. Elijah mocked it. And what? Elijah mocked it. And what did he say? And said, cry aloud. Cry aloud. For he is a God. Yeah. You say that the fellow in this painting is God? Cry aloud. You down here praying? That's right. When did Jesus pose for this? Yeah. When did he pose for? Right. Now, look at him. Look at him. And look at him. Yeah. They don't look the same. No. Who are these men? Who are those men? Who are these imposters? Yeah. What did he say? And it came to pass that Elijah mocked, mocked him and said, Cry aloud. Cry aloud. For he is a God. He is a God. Either he is talking. Either he is talking. Or he is pursuing. He's pursuing. Or he is in a journey. Maybe he's chasing something. Or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake. Let's see what did these idols do. Can these idols talk or smell or hear? Mm -hmm. Let's get some scriptures. Because this is idolatry. Psalms 115. And the messengers of Satan got people bowing to idolatry. That's right. People by the millions in their house, churches, and places, they are bowing to these images. That's right. And when you bow, we bow to the unseen. Oh, yes. Our God is in the heaven. Wait a minute. Listen, Psalms 115 will start at verse 3. But our God is in the heaven. If your hands get tired, get a brother to relieve you. Yeah. Our God is on a poster. Our God is in the heavens. <laughs> it's supposed to be God being held up. Imagine, <laughs> brothers holding God up. Holding God up. A God that can't stand on his own. Do you know how sad that is? But you know how serious it is? This is the works of Satan that's used to trick the simple. That's right. And many of sins here. Statues all over churches. People coming in the church and they see a statue yeah. before they go to their seat. Right. They touch it. They touch it. Right. Or they kiss it. Yeah. That's right. Or they go put their kiss or they get in front of it. Yeah. 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 That's right. 
That's right. That's right. Stat, you don't see it? Their idols are silver and gold. Their idols are silver and gold. The work of men's hands. Work of men's hands. They have mouths. They have mouths. But they speak not. Wait a minute. Let, let's test this. Let's test it. Test it. They have mouths. But they speak not. What's up? Amen. What in the word of God said? They have mouths. But they speak not. Can you say anything? Huh. What's your name? <laughs> Who's your daddy? That's right. Amen. Are you the son of God? Are you he that should come? My Lord. Or should we look for another? My Lord. They have mouths. But they speak not. Was it you that turned water into wine? Mm. Was it you that walked on water? My Lord. They have mouths, but they speak not. What's the matter? Satan got your tongue? <laughs> Oh, he must be religion. I'm making mockery of a lie. That's right. You got to destroy the lie that's in people. That's right. In order for you to be free, the lies that's in your mind must be crushed. Amen. 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 Lie gotta come out your mind. Come out your mind. You need brain surgery. Yeah. Heart surgery. Yeah. 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 Do you hear the word of God talking? They have mouths, they got mouths. but they speak not. What else? Eyes have they. Oh, he got big ones. Amen. And what? But they see not. Amen. You know how the devil tricks people? They got big pictures like this, and they say, oh, it's like his eyes is moving. moving. Look, it's like his eyes is moving. <laughs> That's right. They got eyes, and what? They have eyes, but they see not. Amen. How many here used to be Catholics? Raise your hand. How many of you would bow to statues? Lord. How many of you would do the crucifix? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. That's right. All this is liberation, preacher. Before me. Start talking. 
God spake all these words. God spake all these words. Saying, Thou shalt have no other gods. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Wait a minute. I don't want to say a passage in it, but this is engraved. It's painted. It's an image. Mm -hmm. I just want to know who is it. That's it. Viewers, you write me. Write me now, because I know some of you are so sentimental. Amen. And some of you will write television stations. I am I am appalled <laughs> at what that man just did to my Jesus. To my Jesus. If this is your Jesus, you can have him. That's right. <laughs> If this is your Jesus, you can have him. That's right. Because he can't defend himself. He can't defend himself. Why is he just sitting here? Yeah. Will he answer my prayer? Who is that man? Who is that man? Can he fight for you? These paintings that you have. Can they fight for you? They can save no man. They now in the book of the Epistle of Jeremiah. Chapter 1 and verse 36. Give, look at chapter verse again. In the book of the Epistle of Jeremiah. In the Epistle of Jeremiah. Chapter 1 and verse 36. Says what? They can save no man from death. No man. What? No man. They can save no man from death. What else? Neither deliver the weak from the mighty. What else? They cannot restore a blind man. Wait a minute. I, I, well, you better make sure. Now I want them to see what is it talking about. Amen. They cannot restore. Now let's go above that and get who it's talking about. At verse 35. Come on, son, In like manner also, they can neither give riches nor money. You better get at verse 30. At verse 30. For how can they be called gods? How can they be called gods? How can y'all call this painting God? Gods. Anytime you bowing down to this stuff, that you bowing supposed to be to God. Right. Yes. Why are y'all on your knees with this? Some of y'all in your churches, when you pray, the whole congregation is asked to face the cross and the image. Right. Sometimes I've been to churches where they collect offering. And when they collect offering, they have what is called an offering song. That's right. And I've seen where they took the offering plate and faced the cross with the image. Yeah. And now sang it. Oh, Jesus, we give this to you. Oh, thank you. We give this to you, oh, Jesus. Amen. Now, according to you viewers, that's supposed to be the second person in the Godhead. The Godhead. Who told you he looked like this? That's right. When did you meet him? When did you see him? What mall did you see him at? What mall? When do he shop? Not only that. You blind so-called apostolic preachers says that flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. You said flesh and blood is in, is heaven. in heaven. In heaven. And Paul said flesh and blood cannot, cannot be heard the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Cannot. Cannot. Amen. Amen. I had somebody to write me and say, Pastor Dennis, I'm being taught when you pray, you're supposed to pray the flesh and blood. Mm. We're supposed to follow Jesus' example. That's right. And the disciples say, Lord, teach us. Teach us to pray. To pray. To pray. How to do it. Mm. So here comes Jesus teaching you what nature to talk to. Our Father. Our Father. Talking right to the Spirit. That's right. Our Father. Our Father. Our God. Yes. Our Creator. Where is, where is he? Who are? In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. We don't pray the flesh. Oh, no. It ain't no apostle in the Bible ever prayed the flesh. Oh, no. Not even Jesus prayed to his own flesh. He said, Our Father. Father. That's right. That's right. Our Father. You want to know who will answer? The Father. Father. That's what Jesus said, as my father sent me, as my father has sent me, yes. even so send I you. That's right. Here's the spirit that was in that body sent them out. We don't pray to no flesh. No flesh. We pray to spirit. That's it. One brother told me, he said when he prayed, he thought that he'd take his prayers to Jesus 
then Jesus take it to the Father. No. Jesus said, I am the Father. That's right. That's right. He just said, when you see me, you see the Father. Father. Pastor, who you talk to? I talk direct to God. That's right. These words spake Jesus in St. John 17 and verse 1. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. Lift up his eyes to earth. To heaven. No, he looked at his own flesh. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. No, he looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. He looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Father. That's right. Amen. Amen. Jesus left us an example yes. that we should follow his steps. Yes. He said what? And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Son. Father. Go ahead. No, son. Father. No, son. Father. Oh, God. That's what he said. Son of God couldn't even reveal this stuff to the apostle. That's right. He said, flesh and blood cannot reveal it. Cannot reveal it. But my father, which is in heaven. That's right. The flesh said, I do nothing. I do nothing. I do nothing. As my father. That's right. As the spirit. Right. The one that in me. He do the work. He do the work. Hallelujah. And it came to pass in those days. He left us an example. Yeah. How to pray. How to pray. And what nature to pray to. Mm-hmm. And what nature answer the prayers. And now in the book of St. Luke chapter 6 and at verse 12. Luke 6 and 12 says. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray. And did what? And continued all night. In prayer to God. No, in prayer to his flesh. And continued all night in prayer to God. All night. When I pray, I pray to God. The eternal spirit that made that man. That's it. You see, God wanted us to know who to pray to. That's right. So he got in that body. And then made the body a pattern. That's right. Told you who to look to. Mm-hmm. He looked up. Yeah. Towards heaven. Looked up into heaven. And the 17th chapter of John. Mm-hmm. And verse 1. You said what? These words spake Jesus. Now, everything watching and everything that I hear, you better do the same thing. That's right. Because these words spake who? Spake Jesus. The Son of Man. And lifted up his eyes. And lifted up his eyes where? To heaven. No, to Mary. To heaven. Go ahead, man. Wonderful. Go ahead. No, to Mary. To heaven. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I know I've got some unbelievers, but I don't care. Amen. I'm looking up to heaven. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. I don't bow to flesh. I don't pray to flesh. No. Why? Jesus didn't do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. He looked up where? Lifted up his eyes to heaven. See, you can't preach this unless God give it to you. Oh, yeah. You can't even see it. You can't even see it unless God give it to you. That's right. He left us an example. He showed his apostles how to pray. What to pray to. That's right. These words spake Jesus. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. That's right. And said, Father. God, the hour is come. The hour is come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may that glorify thy thee. Son may glorify thee. And now, O oh Father. Now, O oh God, glorify. Who is praying to? Praying to. Talking to spirit. That's right, son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said he's talking to himself. He's a liar. That's a lie. Anyway, yeah. it's called lower. Spirit is called highest. Highest. That's right. God don't pray. No. God never pray. Never pray. Never pray. God never pray. Never pray. When you pray, you pray too. The flesh is praying too. That's right. It's talking to the spirit. That's right. That's why you looking out. Looking out to heaven. That's right. That's right. The same spirit that was in him yes, was everywhere. Yes, everywhere. Yes, that flesh, yes, one place at a time. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 